I'd buy that for a dollar. Welcome to Crocs in the Car. I'm Brian. And I'm Jessica. Yes, we are here in beautiful Edwardsville, Illinois, uh, sitting just outside of the Dollar Tree. Yes, uh, a lot of you have asked us how to do a plant-based diet on a budget. Now, budgets are not something that I am very good at doing. But a lot of you have told us that there are a ton of options at the Dollar Tree that actually can fit into a whole food plant-based lifestyle. So we thought it would be fun to just walk on in, take a camera, hopefully they'll let us film a little bit, and show you guys what's in there and then buy some stuff and then take it home and show you what we got. So let's get inside. After that, it was just a hop, skip, and a jump on home to St. Louis. Now, full disclosure, this is a few days later that we're going through this with you, um, but we're super excited about this one because I didn't know you could get this many things that would be whole food plant-based at the Dollar Tree. I'm not gonna lie. And this is actually gonna be part of a bigger series that we're doing that's plant-based on a budget. Mm -hmm. So we have more videos coming. We'll talk about that a little bit at the end, but. I'm really excited to get right into this haul and show you all the things that we got. Also, if you're curious how much this cost us, other than sitting there and like counting everything because it was all a dollar, um, so you could add it up, stay tuned to the end of the video and we will let you know. So the first thing that we have for you is snacks. Now in the snack section, there is a huge amount of junk food and just things that you should never eat. <laughs> but there were some hidden gems in that section. Yeah, we had to really dig and look at all the ingredient labels and everything. One of the things I thought was the coolest, it was kind of these like, what are they like freeze dried um, little like fruit slices and stuff like that. Yep. So they actually have like fruit crisp that are like banana and strawberries and apples. Um, they actually had some, some veggie chips that were carrots that literally the only ingredient is carrots and also mango, the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. One ingredient, nothing else added. Now some of them did have sugar added. So some of these little crisp fruit crisps. Yeah, so not just, all of them were sugar free. You gotta look at the labels, but we also found some nuts that they had. They had like nuts. bags of little bags of nuts. Um, I don't know how cost effective. I need to do some math. 
that will come later on. Uh, but they had like almonds and a bunch of different kinds. So we picked up a bag of almonds and we found these really cool brown, what are they like brown rice cakes? Yeah, they're rice cakes. They're, they're basically just puffed rice in, in cake form. Uh, I checked them out and they like they are pretty good. They do have a little bit of sea salt or Himalayan sea salt with them actually. Uh, but yeah, they're they're no oil or no anything no like oil that? added. It's like basically all the ingredients are just rice and uh, a little bit of of you know like in this one it's got like chia seeds and buckwheat hemp seeds, uh, quinoa flax seeds uh, and all that. And then down at the very end, the last little ingredient is is sea salt. Uh, and for this one, it's got whole grain brown rice, black imperial rice, red rice, and then a little bit of Himalayan sea salt. All in all, like I actually felt pretty good about that. And if I needed something crunchy, you know, wanted a little bit of crunch for a particular meal or something, I thought those might work out pretty good. So. Yeah, so you never know what you're gonna find. Look at the labels and dig. Um, moving on to the next section, this was, I think, Brian's favorite section of the store. It was all of the spices. Yes, <laughs> uh, at Dollar Tree, they do have a spice section. That is good. It actually rivals anything at like Aldi's or, uh, or anything like that. So we picked up some like like onion powder, yeah. paprika. Um, I think we got the chives. You were really excited about I, chopped chives. Yes, that, that chopped chives. That one seems pretty cool. Italian seasoning. Now there's a lot more things that we could have gotten, we but just we just didn't, didn't really need them. need them. But yeah. they had a lot. Now of course some of the stuff has salt. So again, check the labels. Um, like their chili powder definitely had salt in it and stuff like that. But they also had a nice little salt-free seasoning blend, which I'm excited to try out. So, you know, again, you never know what you'll find at the Dollar Tree. Yup. Before we get on to the staples that we found, uh, I wanted to say that our goal in doing this was actually to buy everything that we could find in the store that was whole food plant-based. Like across the board, everything that we could find. Yeah, I know we skipped on some of the seasonings and stuff like that, but you know, everybody everybody knows they can find seasonings. And we were also trying to go for the the stuff that didn't have sodium. So there while they do have a ton of canned Massive veggies, amount. canned like veggies, beans, all that. All of their canned uh, veggies and stuff that we saw definitely had salt added, like even the tomato sauce, those kind of things all had salt added. And we usually get the no salt added ones actually for 79 cents for the beans at yeah. Whole Foods. So, um, you know, Dollar Tree might not always be the best buy either. Um, I'm going to do some price comparing. We're just showing you the haul today, but we have more videos to come, don't worry. I'll get out my clipboard and make a chart or something like that. Um, but I am interested to see, because not all of them will be a savings. You know, you can get dollar stuff at other places or even cheaper sometimes. But overall, I think you're going to find that you're going to save a lot here. Yes. But let's go on to... The staples. Now, these are all the different sort of dry goods that we could find and could use on a regular basis. And they had not only like dry beans, which I was actually kind of surprised that they even had dry beans. They also had uh, different kinds of lentils. They of course had oats. Uh, we see, you see two different kinds of oats that we have here. Uh, but I mean like all different kinds of black beans, red beans, and of course they had uh, brown rice, which yes. was awesome. Nice, nice big bag of brown rice. Um, but yeah, they had, they had, I was a little nervous because we were looking for beans and we only saw the canned ones with salt and then we saw the fresh, fresh, uh, the dry beans and we were really excited to find those. But yes. yes, nice staples to definitely stock your pantry with. And up next, we have the frozen stuff. Um, I'm really excited about the frozen fruit. I'm excited to try it out and see what mind kind of you, quality it has. Mind you, these have been sitting in the freezer for the last couple of days and she was like, you can't have those. And I I'm put, just like- I put them all in separate bags that were tied up because I needed every item I counted to make sure we had every item accountable. We did sort of get into one. We'll tell you about that in a second. But yeah, uh, she forbade me from, from <laughs> getting into the fruit or vegetables that we bought. Well, we and had so, to have everything for the video. So for fruit, we found strawberries, we found mango. Um, there was like a mixed berry blend, some blackberries, or no, some, some blueberries as a separate bag. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you guys have told us before that you, you buy some frozen fruit there. So I'm excited to try this out. I think especially for smoothies, I'm interested to see the quality compared to what I normally buy for a lot more money. Um, 
on to the next frozen section, of course, is the veggies. And yeah. they have a ton of frozen veggies. A lot more than I thought they My would have. Most, the most exciting one that I was, and we actually didn't find it on the shopping trip we went on. I had to go to another Dollar Tree, and just for this item was this bag of riced veggies. It's actually just rice cauliflower. And I was really excited to find this because it's a steamable bag. Yep. Um, it's actually resealable too. Hmm. Um, it looks like it is, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that and to try that and see how that compares to all the other rice cauliflower because rice cauliflower can be a little bit pricey depending on where you get it. Um, but they also had like the California blend, a pepper stir fry, they had broccoli, they had a winter blend, um, all the different kinds of, of veggie blends that you can want, a nice like stir fry blend. Mm -hmm. And these are like pretty decent size. I think they're like one pound bags. They're yeah. not, you know. Um, cause that's the, the other thing with dollar store items is sometimes you think you're getting a good deal, but it's really just that the quantity is so much low, like lower than what you're used to buying. It's mm -hmm. not really a good deal, but that's a decent deal. Um, they also had asparagus. Yeah. Which, I, we saw that and we're just like, <laughs> okay, it's just frozen asparagus, but sure. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Um, so we, we definitely are looking forward to trying that one out, of course. And then another frozen item that we got that didn't make it to the video. This, this, this was a suggestion this from a, a friend. This was a suggestion from our friend, Anthony. He apparently is a, like obsessed with these Jennifer's Garden spring rolls and they, you can see the bag is flat because it's empty. They do have some oil. Now they are vegan as far as I know. Yeah, they're vegan, but it's the filling mixture. They do have some vegetable oil added. Um, so yeah, there are definitely a little bit like of a treat for us, but I'm telling you- They were good. 10 of these for a dollar? Mm -hmm. If you're looking for a little vegan treat, Go for these. Air fry one up after you make oh, yeah. uh, a lovely vegetable stir fry or something like that, you know, yeah. without any oil. Just to have that other little crunchy thing on the side with a little bit of soy sauce and sesame seeds or something. Definitely use the air fryer if you make those. Don't air fry all of them at once and just eat them like we did. I think like your suggestion of just have one or two on the side of a nice little bowl of veggies will be would be good. Um, but yes, definitely check those out if you can find them. Anthony can't find them anymore and he's really sad that he can't find them. So sorry, Anthony. Um, the final little section, we have just some little odds and ends or bits and bobs for all you British folks out there. <laughs> well, what do we got in the last section, B? Uh, so we found some apple cider vinegar, which is uh, always a good find. I know it they- It says with the mother Yeah, too. with the mother. Uh, and we use that for all sorts of different random things and that's quite nice. We had some white vinegar as well. Uh, which we use white vinegar for a bunch of different things, not even just uh, cooking stuff, but for cleaning purposes as well. And we also had uh, some minced garlic that we yeah. found uh, in a jar, which, you know, had... It, Didn't it, have oil or anything. So. Yeah, yeah. So we were like, all right, yeah, sure. We've used minced garlic before in, in a jar. I know some of you, uh, you hardcore foodies out there are just like, how dare you? But <laughs> I don't care. It's convenient it's and I don't have, have to do hand. anything yeah. to, to get the garlic out. But then there was one random thing that I ended up having to buy as we were going on the way out. I perused the DVD <laughs> section and I found this series. It's called Forever Night. It's uh, back in the good old days of 1992 uh, when this was released and it's a vampire series. It's totally off the wall. I haven't watched it since then, but I Find totally- this. Five discs for a dollar. Like for a dollar, I was like, and this is like going back to my childhood. Why not? I texted my brother and I was like, "Hey, look what I found!" And he was like, "Dope!" And I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> So I was quite excited. We actually had to do a separate transaction because Brian's like, I have to have this. The other thing I found on the way out was these really cute bowls. And I was super excited because I knew that they would look good in like little food photography things that I do with our recipes. And I actually, I used them that night. I think that we had bought them for a recipe. So I'll, I'll show the pictures now, but um, you guys on Instagram were asking me, where'd you get those? And I was like, Dollar Tree. And then someone was like, are they plastic? No, they're not plastic. They're nice like ceramic little bowls. Um, so you never know what you'll find at the Dollar Tree. But with all that being said, Brian, well, you already know, how much did this cost? Uh, wasn't it like 43 total? 42 dollars. 42, yeah. So. Well, plus tax, which I don't think you really get taxed that much as much on food, I don't think. I don't, I have to look it up. But $42, 42 items, 
not bad for a nice little haul. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to, now you, you guys may be asking, okay, cool. You got all this stuff at Dollar Tree and you were able to find a bunch of stuff. Now, how does it stack up compared to what you are used to using, the things that we normally buy at Aldi or Trader Joe's or Whole Foods? So, in order to do that, I feel like we need a good week of eating this this stuff under our belt. For quality? For quality checking, to, to, you should really do that. And I just think it would be fun. So, I'm going to challenge us to eat one week of absolutely nothing but stuff from Dollar Tree. So, for one week, well, minus stuff in the pantry. Well, not really though, like little spices here and there, but not like tahini or any other fancy stuff. Oh, okay. I will set up the rules. We will let you know what the rules are. Um, but, you know, we, we, we're obviously not gonna go out and, and buy like another set of spices from Dollar Tree of stuff that we already have in our pantry. Yeah, true. But, so there will be certain things that will be allowed, but I think we can definitely do it with the variety of stuff that they have here. And we're gonna do another video that is like a what we eat in a week Dollar Tree uh, edition. And that will come out in a couple of weeks. So I'm really excited to do that. I think it'll be a good opportunity for us to test all these things out. And we have other videos coming up as part of this plant-based on a budget series. So if you guys have any suggestions or ideas of what you wanna see as part of this series, let us know. Um, we know that budget can be definitely top of mind, especially right now for people. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Yep, but is that it? That's all I got. <laughs> all right, uh, please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already and click the bell notification. That is right next to that button and you will get notified whenever we post a new video. Uh, you can also find us on social media, mainly Facebook and Instagram. You can interact with us there. We, you can post stuff, you can send us messages, all sorts of goodness come from that. Uh, also, you can like and share the video and get this out into front of more people and then we can grow the channel a bit more every single day. And show people that it's not pricey to eat a whole food plant-based diet. You can totally do this on a budget, I yep. promise. You Absolutely. Can, you can get really fancy and buy a lot of really expensive stuff that you don't need, but you can also do it on a budget. Yep. But I think that's all I got. That's definitely all I got. We will see you next time on Crocs in the Kitchen. Bye. Bye.